G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand came from our state nut competition, where I was playing with my wife, Laura. And it brings up a lot of interesting questions um, about how we should bid it, and also something for the defense and the lead. So, uh, let's bring this up. So, let's just talk about how I bid this hand. So, uh, you have a 20 count with a 6 card club suit. So this starts the question off, do you open a game force or do you open uh, one club? And what you want to do is try and plan your rebid. So how are you going to show this hand if uh, you open one club? How are you going to show this hand if you open two clubs? Now, if you open one club, the auction might go uncontested and partner might rebid a heart. And if you got this, then I think you can rebid three no trump show sort of 18 plus unbalanced hand with at least six or more clubs. So I think you can show this. Uh, it's a bit trickier if partner actually responds a spade because now you don't want to jump to three no trumps and it gets a bit trickier. So what I would do is I would start with just reversing into diamonds, um, which isn't perfect, but like I, I don't think that we're going to end up in diamonds. But th there are some complications with doing this. So opening one club isn't perfect if you get a one spade response. If you open two clubs instead, then uh, a lot of the time it will go two diamonds, and now you have to bid three clubs. Uh, if partner bids three hearts, then we bid three no trumps. And are we happy with that? Uh, reasonably, but we, like... I guess it's okay. There's no particularly awkward auctions. If partner bids three spades, we bid four spades, um, and we're just minimum. So I think we can handle most of the responses over this. So I really don't mind one club or two clubs. It looks like we'll be able to solve both of the auctions reasonably well. So it really comes down to partnership style and agreements. One agreement that uh, Laura and I had, we play some uh, the system that me and Juz do with... Um, transfers and things like that, so that if we had the auction go a club pass or response, um, we've given up our 2 no trump bid to not be 18-19 balance, to show something else. We put our 18-19 balance somewhere else. So what this is, is uh, game forcing with clubs, 18 or more points uh, with six or more clubs, and then we can actually round out our shape as well. So that, for me, I chose to open one club because we had this way of subsequently bidding uh, the hand where I would have been able to show 18 plus, 6 plus clubs and a singleton heart if it panned out that way. Obviously, things never pan out that way, and after I opened one club, it went two spades on my left, and uh, uh, Laura now bid three hearts. So now I have another tricky bidding problem, and we we're playing match points, so I just decided... Like, even if we have a club fit, I want to be playing six no trumps anyway. I want to be playing a slam. I can't think of a good way to get to Grand Slam. Like, I could Q-raise and then bid four no trumps, and then if she's got Ace, King, Ace, and the Queen of Hearts, I might be able to bid seven. So I could have taken it a bit slower and done something like that and still insisted on six no trumps. But I just took the route of just bidding six no trumps anyway. And this went pass, pass, pass at my table. Um, but at another table, they had a slightly different option to six no trumps. They opened um, two clubs and so forth, but uh, there was a double. So what is a double in this instance? And this might be even without their partner bidding two spades. So first of all, we'll jump over and look at the person on lead. What, what, what's their hand and what should they lead? So here I've got this. Um, and your partner's doubled after the other hand opened two clubs. Um, the north hand showed a good hand with hearts. They got to six no trumps. They also showed a club fit on their auction. Um, now, what should you do? So here it's gone... First of all, what does the double ask? This is a Leitner double. So it says, partner, um, I want you to find an unusual lead. And the unusual lead is most often leading dummies first bid suit, which here happens to be hearts. So we, we can't lead a heart. So what should we do in this instance? Should we lead our ace of diamonds? Should we do something else? 
Um, should we consider leading a spade or should we lead a passive club? These are all options because partner said lead a heart and we can't actually do that. So this, first of all, the double, really good tool saying partner, please lead an unusual suit. Um, here we can't do that. I think that what, what you know on this hand is we've got the Ace of Diamonds. We have one trick. Partner has hearts covered. The opponents aren't running hearts. So they've got all their club tricks. We might be able to score our Queen of Spades. Or partner might get their heart card and then we get our Ace of Diamonds. So for me, I would want to just lead something passive. Just sit back and wait for either two diamond tricks, a diamond and a heart, or a spade and a heart. So for me, I would lead a club on this auction. So here... Um, I think a passive club is a good idea. Um, my second choice would actually be leading a diamond, but uh, we'll show all the hands. So um, against me, uh, my opponents didn't get the double, uh, so we played six no trumps without the double. So they led the ace of diamonds, and then they found the good switch of switching to a club, which didn't give away the spade trick. And without getting the spade trick, you have to fall back on taking the heart finesse, which just fails. So uh, I went down one in six no trumps. But this hand was pretty interesting about what you should choose to lead after you get the Leitner double as well. And I heard one argument where uh, my obvious lead was leading my diamonds. And you asked me for an unusual lead and I wasn't going to lead my spades and therefore I thought that was unusual. But what you want to do is put yourself in your partner's shoes. They've seen you bid spades. They know that you like spades. And... Um, they expect that your natural lead is a spade. So when you double, they're saying, please don't lead a spade, lead dummies first bid suit. Um, but like, we've also got the don't lead spades, so I wouldn't choose to lead a spade in this instance um, and just try and take the passive approach. Anyway, I thought this was a pretty interesting hand on all sides. The bidding, do we choose to open? What are our follow-ups? How do we pan out the rest of the auction? The Leitner double... And then also uh, the choice of lead. So I hope you enjoy this hand. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.